When you're watching a show, some characters and the actors who play them just jump at you as distinct and special. You start wondering what they're like in real life because they are so lost in the character that they are portraying. I'm sure anyone who watched The Chosen, the story of Jesus and his apostles, felt the same about Simon who will now be called Peter in season 4. Although the series is filled with incredible performances, including Jonathan Rumi as Jesus and Paris Patel as Matthew, Shahar Isaac's Simon Peter is different. He's full of life, but also there's so much sadness in his eyes. That's why many fans of The Chosen, myself included, have developed a special interest in Shahar Isaac, his whereabouts, and what he does when he's not playing a fisherman turned apostle living in the first century. Recently, Shahar worried everyone as Dallas Jenkins shared that he was fighting in the Israeli army, but Shahar showed up at the London premiere of The Chosen Season 4 and surprised everyone who was waiting to hear whether he was safe or not. I'll talk more about this in the later part of this video, but now that all is well with him, I wanted to do a video focusing on Shahar Isaac and tell you all about his hobbies, his personal life, and overall, things you didn't know about him. I did a lot of research, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let's start! He's a photographer. We should start with the basics. If you ever visited Shahar's social media, you'll see that he has shared a series of photos that he himself captured. This is not just a hobby for Shahar, he's doing it professionally as he even has a website where he sells his prints. You can order them from this website and apparently they arrive with a signature on them. While some of his photographs appear to have been taken during vacations, some are actually from the chosen season 4 set. You can easily recognize where these were taken, for example. Apart from taking the pictures, Shahar is personally involved in the printing process as well and shares about it on social media. He's a musician. Another major information you'll notice about Shahar when you visit his social media is the fact that he plays the classical and the bass guitar and more. Even though it looks like it's a hobby, Shahar sometimes plays live with his friends. And from all the videos I've seen of him playing these instruments, he seems pretty talented. He's a theater actor. Even though we all know Shahar from The Chosen, he acted in other projects before, especially in theater plays. Perhaps his most prominent and impressive role was in Merchant of Venice, done by Shakespeare and Company. In the play, he plays Bassanio, a man who spends all of his money to be seen respectable. He is willing to give up all he has to be with a woman called Portia and you can see Shahar getting carried away in a scene with her. Shahar also played a character called Bargiora in the play Salome. This happened during Shahar's years living in London as this was for National Theatre in the UK. His other projects Other than plays in The Chosen, Shahar has been in a few other projects as well. Let's see if you saw him in any of these. He was in Person of Interest in Season 4, Episode 12. He was also in a movie called Price for Freedom. He played a minor character in Season 4, Episode 17 of Madam Secretary. Perhaps his most regular appearance on a TV show other than The Chosen was in The Good Fight. In three episodes of the show Season 6, he played a recurring character named Zev. His tie to Israel If you haven't figured it out already, Shahar is an Israeli-American. He was born in Israel and his mother tongue is Hebrew and he's more fluent in that language. As far as I know, he's an Israeli Yemenite Jew and has grown up in the Israeli culture. In one interview, Jonathan Rumi said that Shahar Isaac helped him with certain parts of Jesus' accent in The Chosen. And in certain BTS videos, I've seen Dallas and Shahar talking about the Hebrew language. In one video, I learned that Shahar helped write stuff in Hebrew in John's notebook where we see him writing the important stuff as he listens to Jesus. As for how Shahar got to serve for the Israeli army, well, that's simple. He's an Israeli citizen and even though he served for the army after turning 18, he was called again to the reserve forces. 
Reserve duty is mandatory in Israel and residents who completed their military service can be called during emergencies. That's what happened to Shahar. But obviously, they got a special permit for him so that he can attend the London premiere of The Chosen Season 4 and give interviews. They will do the same in the future so that he can film scenes for Season 5. He knows Spanish. My last information about Shahar will be the fact that he knows Spanish, although I don't know how he got to learn it. A few years ago, he posted pictures from Cuba and Mexico City and wrote the captions in Spanish. That's all I can tell you about Shahar Isaac. He is a guy who travels a lot and someone who has multiple talents. Nothing is really known about his dating life, so I'm not sure if he has a partner. If I learn more, I'll definitely let you know. If you want me to do similar videos on the other chosen cast members, tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.